What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? I'll be getting it in. Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo, what's going on, people? It's the day of the day, but no day. We call it Wednesday. Anyway, that being said, what's going on, people? Oh, you know, I hate doing these videos, but I have to get them out the way. Uh, we have a trans man who committed suicide on Monday by the name of Blake my cheesy Blake and Blake was 18 years old Blake was um, a person who was an advocate who said that they believe that people just got to help try to change people's minds when it comes down to trans people and stuff like that and people will need to be much more aware okay I'm gonna shoot the video over to you to see his story and a picture of him and this way we'll go from there okay When you're trans, it just means that your your sex that you're assigned at birth doesn't match the gender that you identify with. And so I was born female, and I identify as male. Um, some of the struggles that I've had is uh, I've had a hard time coming out to my family, I've had a hard time coming out to my friends and uh, school. But I did it, and I've lost a lot of friends. I just don't talk to a lot of my family anymore. I, I would love to for a lot of the trans youth to understand that they're not alone and that this is a large community. Like at UNC Charlotte alone, my freshman class has 425 self-identified individuals in it. So it's not a matter of being alone, it's a matter of reaching out to who you need to reach out to that will support you. I've lived my entire life as a lie. I grew up in Charleston, South Carolina in a Southern Baptist home. I've always been kind of different, and it was always a bad thing in my family, but they never really said anything. Then when the homecoming stuff happened, it was, they were like, you're still not a guy to us, like guys and girls, you know? And um, it's, it's been really hard. High school's been really hard. To me personally, it made me feel like for once I could just be a normal teenage boy. Just a normal teenage boy, just doing normal teenage guy things. And then homecoming came. That's a normal teenage boy thing. We all want to do it, kind of, sometimes. Okay, as you see at the end of the video, um, I had a couple of other people that passed away, well, you know, died in the hands of, you know, themselves as well as well inflicted suicide as well as murdered um, transsexuals. Well, we're going to see on Blake. Blake is, Blake was um, a trans man as of Monday this week of March. Blake allegedly committed suicide and passed on and he believed that he could probably help a lot of people and was trying to pave the way to let people know that there are differences within the world and we need to learn that we can all be here together and we need to work together and try to build a strong foundation within the younger youth of today and stuff like that. Blake went on to raise money over $2,000 and was the first um, trans man of North Carolina um, High School. And it's really sad we've lost another one, um, 18 years old, just a baby. Um, it's sad the world we live in and stuff like that. Um, I don't know why he committed suicide. You know, he was an advocate, so he, my, you know, my thing is this, is that, you know, we all suffer in silence. I don't care how many people are around us or how many people that are there with us. When we get alone within ourselves, we're lost within our thoughts. And a lot of times we can't be saved. Um, when it comes to us because we have our own inner peace and our own inner demons that we deal with within ourselves that make us human and a lot of times a lot of people can't help us because sometimes things just really get to us and we suffer in silence and it's sad because you know we're trying so hard to push for the younger trans you know to learn that we are out here trying to help and let them say you know come on and I've hitting up a few, a few hitting up me, you know, we talk back and forth, you know, I try to fight, you know, for their life and, you know, let them know that they're very important within the world we live in and stuff like that and, 
he was an advocate and stuff like that, very cute and everything, but, you know, my heart goes out to him and hopefully, you know, he's in a better place. Even though you know how I believe, I believe that people are reincarnated, they're brought right back, but that's just my belief and stuff like that. Anyway, um, I just wanted to do this video about that and, you know, um, it's a lot I want to talk about, you know, in reference to, you know, um, California, they're trying to push the law for kill gays, the lawyers trying to push for it and stuff like that. You know, and this is the kind of thing I'll be talking about when I'm talking in reference to young trans people out there. You know, they get to see all these negative, and, these negative things and stuff like that. And I believe it is a bad influence upon anybody within their frame of mind. Even myself, you know, I, I sit back and I can't believe some of the things I watch get pushed out here. You know, it's really sad because we're supposed to be moving to a better place. And as older generations, it's so sad when we keep moving backwards where we really need to be moving forward. Anyway, that being said, I just wanted to put this video out there and I don't want to smother with, um, you know, badness. And all I want to say is my, bro my brother Blake, um, may you rest in peace. I did this video for you, I love you, I'm going to miss you, no, I never met you, but hopefully there's other Blakes out there and another trans men out there that feel as though they're going to stick around because we really do need you. We really don't be needing y'all to kill yourself. We really do need y'all around because in unity we can fight together, we become stronger. We don't need to keep losing our truths, we know we really need you. Because without you, then you, you, without your existence, you're going to start killing us all off. A lot of us is going to start losing faith. That's why we need to still keep trying to pull each other together and try to fight to stay together. You know, within all the negativity, we just got to push it out. You know, and please, people don't kill yourself. I mean, I really need you. I know you, you know, people say, but I really need you because I, without you, there is no way. And it really isn't. Because I would be doing this whole thing by myself and just to be left here alone by myself. It would just, you know, it would kill me. I'm not trying to be selfish and, well, you know, stick around for me. But stick around so I don't have to be alone. And I need you more than you know. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to cut off there because I can't. These videos drain me so much like a vampire through blood. Anyway, that being said, rest in peace. And for all the ones who have lost their life, rest in peace as well. I want to say hello to new people. Boom. I want to say oh people being. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. Nobody don't like it, then fuck them.